for our 6 Plus. You can see the color difference. Other than that though, the boxes look absolutely uh, identical. This is a 16 gigabyte variant. Uh, it's gonna come in 1664 or 128. We will bring back our old friend, the obligatory, the unnecessary, hope I don't start bleeding on camera unboxing knife. We'll go and see what this guy looks like. I had a chance to take a look at both iPhones uh, at Apple's launch event in Cupertino about a week and a half ago. By the time you watch this video, maybe it was two weeks ago, three weeks ago, a month ago, a year ago. I don't know, I just went back and watched my 5S unboxing yesterday to see what it looked like, just to make sure we kept things consistent. Uh, so we've got the plastic, I think, ready to go off this thing. Uh, there are some key differences here with the uh, 6 and the 6 Plus, primarily in the camera and the battery department. This has digital image stabilization, whereas the 6 Plus has optical image stabilization, obviously the size difference as well. We'll talk about all that. Uh, so here is the phone. It looks absolutely identical uh, to our dummy unit that we had uh, for a few months. So here is the iPhone 6. Push it off to the side for a real quick second. Uh, see what else we're going to have inside of the box. Uh, we've got the ear pods, the wall wart, which is the same design that we had. And we've got a lightning cable with just a regular one-way USB port. You can't reverse it like we had rumored. Uh, inside of the design by Apple and California envelope, we've got things. We've got some Apple stickers, some iPhone 6, you know, tips and tricks. Doesn't say fingertips though, like they used to. Uh, but that's not why you're here. You're here for this guy. This is the iPhone 6 and feels ridiculously light. Feels like they didn't put the battery inside of it. Uh, let's go ahead and peel this off. Always satisfying. Boom. And now we've got the iPhone 6 unsheathed. I'll go ahead and power it on and uh, run through some specs. Uh, so you've got now a larger 4.7 inch screen up from the 4 inch that we saw on the 5 and the 5S. It's got a resolution of 1334 by 750, which gives it a PPI of 326. If you're saying to yourself, self, the 326 PPI sounds familiar, it's because it's the same pippy as we saw in the last generation retina screen. So on the, the 5 and then the 5S. Uh, it's going to weigh a really light 4.55 ounces or 129 grams. It is 6.9 millimeters thick or 0.2 thinner uh, than the 6 Plus. Kind of cool. Uh, it's got something called dual domain pixels. It's probably going to give you a wider viewing angle, which should help. Uh, powering it is the new A8 chip with 64-bit architecture. It's got the M8 motion coprocessor, so you can tell if you're walking upstairs and all that kind of stuff for elevation. Uh, iFixit revealed the battery is 1,810 milliamp hours. Uh, it was 1560 on the 5S, in case you're wondering. Uh, and a gig of RAM, which is the same RAM that's also found in the 6 Plus. 8 megapixel camera on the back. Uh, it does have focus pixels, though, which is supposedly going to give you way, way faster autofocus. And we heard rumors that Sapphire is going to be used on the phone, but the only place it's being used is on that lens cover. Uh, it does have digital image stabilization, as opposed to optical, uh, which the 6 Plus has. Uh, it does, of course, 1080p video at either 30 or 60 frames per second. Slow-mo, either 120 or 240. It's got a camera up front as well. It's a 1.2 megapixel job. Again, available in the same three colors as last gen, either space gray, silver, and gold. But the gold uh, looks a little bit different, as is the space gray. It's a little goldier. Uh, available in 1664, 128 uh, gig variant. It's going to cost you 199 299 or 399 uh, on contract, depending on what you go for. So a quick tour of the device. It looks very iPhone-ish. Uh, you've got that 4.7 inch screen, of course, right up front. You've got your home button with Touch ID built in, which used for Apple Pay. Left-hand side, you've got a redesigned volume up and down. You've got your profile switch. On the right, that is your power and lock button, which is now moved from the top to the side. Nano SIM tray. Uh, the bottom to redesign, you've got a new speaker grill. There's your lightning port, a noise canceling mic, a 3.5 millimeter headset jack. On the back, that's where the camera's gonna live. Now you still have that dual flash in there, but it's now sort of enclosed in a single circle. Uh, but the bottom is amber and the top is just regular. Uh, I've got these two antenna bands. The top one is for NFC, which is gonna be used for Apple Pay. It's totally locked down though right now. Maybe that'll be what they reveal for the 6S. Um, but all you can do is for Apple Pay, you can't share anything else using NFC. Um, in the device. Really thin, it looks really nice. Of course, we'll put it through all its paces. Uh, here's a real quick comparison if you want to see what the two look like, uh, the 6 or the 6 Plus, how they look in normal hands uh, and that kind of stuff. Um, again, we'll do everything we can with these devices. Check us out at technobuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news on the iPhone 6 family. Until next time, I'm John Rettinger. See you guys next video. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We love technology here. If you do too and you want to see what's next, of course, hit the big subscribe button down below to get the latest videos from Techno Buffalo. And we just launched our new Twitch channel. So if you want to see us game, albeit sometimes a little bit horribly, check us out at twitch.tv slash technobuffalo.